Hello and welcome to a server tour here on the Jimmy Wetzel Season 2 server. Hi. Welcome. <laughs> so let's go ahead and start here at the lovely, lovely boathouse built by the lovely, lovely Kim. You can see we have our emergency save point going on in there come out here to the dock some lovely little boating areas beyond there is our iron farm and of course the mob farm up in the sky i love this build it's so cute it's little lamp posts it's adorable kim did a wonderful job on this little dark boathouse area very very nice and on the beach up here i kind of made like a pool i don't know like <laughs> luxury beach <laughs> sun bathing area we have these uh pool floaties going on and also my very first attempts at custom trees a few of these i'm not too pleased with i think um I made the leaves droopy, they look a bit more like a willow tree than a palm tree. The one down here is a bit more successful, you see it has some more shape to it. But yeah, I mean, it was my first time ever making a tree in Minecraft instead of just bone mealing some saplings. Uh, so not too bad. I definitely want to do more stuff like this in the future. If we go along our lovely path, which I believe was made by Kim and Hannah, we will make our way to Hole Sweet Hole, <laughs> the uh, huge hole in the ground where if you caught some of the live streams, you will know uh, is where we set up together like little hermits. <laughs> and uh, yeah, very fun. We have a, a huge landmark, though, at the top of Hall, which is an enormous mushroom cottage, <laughs> again built by Kim. They uh, very much became the builder of the server, which uh, is a title they very much deserve. So beautiful, so lovely. Uh, the only downside is because we moved world spawn to this area, uh, if you die without a bed, you may find yourself up there <laughs> on top of the mushroom. Uh, but Kim kindly put some scaffolding inside so we can get down just a little bit more safer. <laughs> and uh, just behind us here is um, an homage to Cult of the Lamb. <laughs> this is the uh, last thing I ever built here on the surfer. We even have a little lamb inside it's very cool um though i feel like this says a lot about my building capabilities like i have the basic idea there but it's just missing those extra like pops of detail and uh yeah something which i learned about myself along this server journey as we make our way to the hole with our grand beacon here and um, oops, a UFO tree <laughs> going on there. We have uh, the platform up top. This has a vine going all the way down for you to ascend should you not want to take the uh, stairs. And this is built by David. If we wander down, the first stop is the Spoon Tars office, which I tucked away into here with, uh, I guess this makes less sense now <laughs> on the wall here because it's been so long since I played on this server that I'm no longer a bear. I'm a human now. <laughs> I transformed. But yeah, I do like to pretend this was a natural rock formation that I just discovered. We have our grand server map here. Um, though we kind of just live, yeah, <laughs> in this uh, central area. We, we never really spread around much on the server, but it was fun to go and make this huge, ridiculous map <laughs> of everything. 
Uh, I believe up in the top center is the ocean monument that we fought on our last spoon tour. You can see we have these markers here, which I love so much. They're so cute. And they just uh, mark special occasions uh, that we did together as a server. Uh, of course, we have the whole sweet hole, the foundation of our base here on June the 3rd. And then we fought the Woodland Mansion, the Ocean Monument. And then uh, we do <laughs> technically have plans for an ancient city. And then, you know, going to the end, fight the Ender Dragon. And then who knows, but... Uh, yeah, the server's been very quiet since July, <laughs> and it's now November, so <laughs> perhaps uh, the Spoon Tours office will be retiring. But just in case, I do have everything ready to go for our Ocean Monument adventure, uh, should that ever happen. If we come out of Spoon Tours, we begin our grand staircase into the hole. We see David's base wrapping all the way around here. I can't remember if I put the chickens in there, <laughs> but someone sure did. There's a, a lot of chickens going on in David's base. <laughs> and as you worm your way around towards all of the noise of the chickens, <laughs> excuse those for a moment, but you see my base here. A lot of foliage seeping in from the top of the uh, surface and I usually have a texture pack that makes birch wood into cherry blossoms and this would usually be pink but I forgot that I had turned that off recently but it still looks very pretty um, and yeah I won't be taking you inside other people's bases but I will of course take you to my own we have here my upside down axolotl <laughs> from day one and as we enter into the hallway here, we have the Steve costume that I made <laughs> to uh, scare Jimmy one time. Um, I did sneak off to the end city and fight the dragon by myself. So I have my pair of elytra hanging out by the door here and the diamond pickaxe, which was the communal pickaxe made with our very first diamonds. And of course we have all of uh, these lovely decorations. This was like my first set of enchanted armor. I kept that. Um, down here is all of records. I believe I got one of everything uh, for my hidden jukebox. Oops. <laughs> we go forward here into a storage room that I built. We have a workbench here with just some essential tools. This map here is of a village that I just like, you can barely even see in the village. It's uh, right by the green patch at the bottom, but I stumbled across them and um, accidentally started a raid, but then helped the village and they threw me a bunch of pies. So I kept <laughs> one of the pies. We have, uh, I believe, Bone Daddy? Oh, I have my stuff turned off, but my skeletal horse, they appeared one day by the dock and Hannah helped me wrangle them back to the base. I love the skeleton horses. They're so stupid. <laughs> they has this, uh, I guess, Twin Peaks inspired enclosure just hanging out in my base, eating their little bone blocks for breakfast. Then the enchanting area with everything you need. Have all of our, you know, never walk growing. Little compartments for storage in the back there to make everything. And then this is a water sauce for filling up all of your bottles. And just storage here with some candle decorations. Uh, we have a huge community storage, which I'll show you, but you know, sometimes Sometimes things are precious and you want to keep them to yourself. <laughs> so I did make this up here just for some bonus things. How many wither roses? I had a lot of wither <laughs> roses because I trapped the wither uh, in a room with many, many chickens. <laughs> uh, coming along here. This is my bedroom. We have the big window with a view of David's base. 
and you probably heard these guys jingling away <laughs> in the background here my LA's which were a nightmare <laughs> to get uh, from the pillager outpost that I found all the way back to the base but they're here they're adorable and they don't work <laughs> we have mob griefing uh, turned off here on the server which affects uh, these little guys so unfortunately they can't actually pick anything up and be useful but they sure look cute <laughs> Uh, this is my elevator down to the main storage area, but I will take the staircase to show you other things along the way. This huge staircase, which I started from the bottom and I believe David started from the top and we kind of met in the middle somewhere. Uh, we never really decorated it too much, but it's functional. Here is the entrance to Anne's base. Um, because she completely, totally played on the server all the time. She found all the treasure maps, as always. <laughs> and then down here, the staircase kind of changes direction a little. You get to Josh's base, which is pretty huge. I said I wasn't really going to go in people's bases, but, you know, you can see it <laughs> continues all the way around the back. And even further in that direction, but yeah, I don't think we'll be able to see <laughs> because of the pillars. Am I crouching? I am crouching. Let's continue down here into the main bottom of the hole. If I stand here and look all the way up, you can see some rogue scaffolding. <laughs> and all the way up to mine and David's base up there and that of course is the entrance with the giant vine should you choose to not use the stairs well behind us here is the community storage and uh, our enchanting setup this uh, kind of pillar was here and I immediately thought it was going to be a very cute place to tuck away our enchantments and yeah, I think it looks very, very cute. We have pond decorations by myself and Kim, I believe. Very, very cute. There's usually axolotls spawning in here. Doesn't seem like we have any today. You get this really cute shot here of the enchantment setup. Josh's base from the pond. And of course, the huge community <laughs> storage uh, built by Hannah, decorated by her, and uh, I organized pardon me, all the uh, chests to the best of my ability. And I don't know when he did this, <laughs> but Josh made a vine uh, from his base into this room. And yeah, I don't know when he did it, but I noticed it last time we all played together and I was mind blown because I'd never noticed it before <laughs> and I put this here and it made me jump so many times <laughs> go back out into the communal area this is where my bubble column brings you up and down behind us we have Jimmy and Hannah's bases which are <laughs> Saying they're overgrown sounds like a negative, but you know, I mean it in like a cool, nice way, I promise. <laughs> Lots of vines and glowberries. You can see Hannah's window up there. We uh, all definitely had this uh, theme idea of let's make little holes in the walls of uh, this huge crack <laughs> in the ground. Very, very, very nice. Ah, oh, I love this base. It's so cute. So pretty. You can see that's the entrance to Jimmy's. And then you come up here and around if you want to go to Hannah's. From here you can see a bit more of the hole. We have all these spore blossoms <laughs> everywhere. 
we have some kinds of like areas with dynamic lighting, I suppose, with uh, using the glow lichen to kind of keep mobs out. But, you know, sometimes things do just be dropping <laughs> from higher places onto you, uh, which is why we turned mob griefing off to uh, avoid aerial creepers. <laughs> If we come down here, we'll go down all the way to the bottom first. This is Kim and Mel's area, which uh one of my favorite little corners of the server. It's so like magical, <laughs> beautiful. I love it. There's also a lot of animals here. <laughs> so we will head on over to this little corner. You see, this is the entrance to our diamond mine shaft. There's a bubble column in the back that will take you down to diamond levels. Um, I dug this out and as I sort of collected ores and no longer needed them for tools and such, I started to decorate this room with them. Uh, I really like it. It's just tucked away in the corner. I don't know who started digging that way. <laughs> We can't back out. There are so many glowberries around here. It's really funny. There's some animal pens. And then this is Kim's base. Again, much like others, we all built ourselves into the walls. And Kim did too. Once again, absolutely the builder <laughs> of our season. Season? Is this season two? Who knows? But gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Love it so much. If we hop down, we have the bridge into Mel's base. Um, Danny lived in here also. And it's all the axolotls here in the pond. Very, very, very sweet. Uh, we didn't do a good job of hiding the beacon, <laughs> I just noticed, <laughs> but oh well. A continuation here from the pond becomes a river. Very cute. There's always dead tropical fish hanging around <laughs> in here because of the axolotls. Um, it made finding the tropical fish to breed them a little difficult, but I think uh, I think we naturally spawned enough over time. If we continue this way, just below Jimmy's house, you see we have some buildings here. They're more like facades inside, you know, it's just where trapped villagers <laughs> kind of hang out. And uh, the stairs over there lead to our never portal, but if we go up the bridge and path here, you can get a much better view of the uh, townhouses that I know Kim built, but Hannah also question mark <laughs> also just yonder you can see a creeper has spawned atop a giant mushroom I think that area was like where we were planning to sort of like build next but then it just ne never came around um and below us as well goes down to an abandoned mine shaft that we found on day one these gorgeous gorgeous buildings So pretty, so pretty. I don't know if they were gonna always just be facades or if there was gonna be things inside, but you know, the plan was to trap our villagers <laughs> for trading in there eventually. Ah, oh, so pretty. I love the colors, very, very cute. There's also, can we see from here? I think from down here. We can see one of many <laughs> hidden Among Us crewmates <laughs> in the distance. Um, I should also pat myself on the back for this bridge and staircase. I made this and I think it's very, very cute. <laughs> of course, we go all the way over. This is where we kept our farms for the seasons. We have um, David's Kelp Farm. Going out over here, the mega crop farm. In here, oh my gosh, the animal noises, oh no. <laughs> we have cactus and melons and pumpkins in here. 
Um, I really like what I did with the wall in here. It kind of has this like ugly in a positive <laughs> way vibe going on, kind of like some 70s wallpaper. Um, and I was definitely the farm hand of the season <laughs> making uh, all of these farms. And I keep referring to this as a season. Uh, so I guess we'll, <laughs> we'll just call this season two of the Jimmy servers. And uh, of course, if you did watch any of the videos from here, you know all too well the horrific sights of Meat Hole, <laughs> which is where we uh, got meat. <laughs> I won't stay in here too long. Um, but yeah, I really tried to be decorative this season with uh, little attempts here and there where I could instead of just digging a hole and calling it a day with the farm in there. But just yonder is a little sort of village area that Hannah started to build. I think the idea was to move in villages eventually. Um, but actually having the mob griefing stuff turned off meant we couldn't breed villagers. So if we wanted villagers, we had to go find them and kidnap them and bring them all the way here. And yeah, the villagers never really materialized because of that. But yeah, this I believe leads to another like entranceway. It's also where I performed my magic trick with the ender crystal. <laughs> And of course, David built a sugarcane farm here too, which to this day, I'm still not sure how it works because I don't see any observers. I don't know how he did it. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> but yeah, all these farms. I'll go ahead and take us into the never. Oh. Here comes the rain. <laughs> you can see what's open to the elements through the weather. <laughs> Go on ahead up here. I'll give it all, you do have a bit of a panoramic view here. <laughs> Some uh, features and decorations of the whole. Hey, pretty. Uh, I love this base so much. It's great. We go on through here to the Never Bottle. Hopefully, there's no piggies. There's not usually, but I'm not wearing gold. <laughs> yeah, uh, David took charge of decorating the Never. Oh, I wondered what that noise was. <laughs> It was a tiny slime. It must have hopped through the portal with us. <laughs> but we have Strider Ranch down here. A little barn for the Striders. Hey! <laughs> and we tried to move this Never Portal um, further up, but it just wasn't complying. And it ended up with me and David in a two by one hole drowning ourselves together, which was a wonderful bonding experience. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we just had to deal with our portal being down there. I think, yeah, you can see here is where David wanted to move it, uh, but it just wouldn't link up. So now it just lives here as a ruined portal. And yeah, we have all these like paths coming away from here that lead to cool locations and the sort of never hub built by David. There's like a cute never walk garden going on because this is just like a little safe house. Come here for emergency supplies and such. We also have a lodestone in here should you need to find your way back, which it's very easy to get lost in the never. We tried our best to keep signs and paths everywhere. But yeah, thankfully not too hostile of an area. 
dangerous in terms of holes, <laughs> but, you know, relatively safe, for, uh, which, you know, comes in handy for uh, being your sort of mainstay in the never. Really helps you, you know, you're gonna spawn in and not immediately die. <laughs> yeah, very cute. Very cute. And yeah, I think that's all. I mean, you know, obviously other than what we didn't venture into with people's individual bases. But this is whole sweet hole. And uh, yeah, if you watched any of the streams that uh, Jimmy and Co made here on this server, then thank you. Um, it was a lot of fun. I love playing Minecraft with other people. It's always a great adventure and yeah, playing it with everyone here, you know, <laughs> I'm sure we'll do it again sometime. Who knows if it will be here on this server, but um, yeah, great fun, lots of memories, and an adorable base <laughs> for us to leave behind. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching and joining me on this adventure, and I guess I'll see you another time. Goodbye.